Hi everyone, my name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator and I am dedicated to a monthly study of different accents, dialects, and voices. Um, for this month, we're going to get a two for one. I'm going to be doing the Alan Alda voice and using his speech patterns to outline the ah or differences in the Bronx accent, at least as I'm hearing it done by Alan Alda, who is a Bronx native. I'm then going to be taking these principles um, and I'm going to, rather than song lyrics, which is usually the technique that I use, I made up a set of verses that hopefully uh, help me and others memorize where the ah and or are different. Ta-da! This is the Mad Tune, everybody. It's a picture of me with my glasses on, and it's to show where the Alan Alda voice is living in my mouth when I'm impersonating him. So uh, in this case, I think of it almost like a sagging exclamation point that goes, starts way back in the throat and punches its way right into my uh, the bridge of my nose. So there's uh, this, this kind of uh, slightly strangled sound that comes out. And what I'd like to do is uh, take my lower lip, put it over my teeth, uh, my lower teeth, and stiffen my cheeks so that my upper lip has to do all the work. So um, I am going to the store. My name is Alan Alda. I'm going to the store. Now, when doing my impersonation videos, I like to have some kind of a, a model of uh, how the voice works, the essence, a sort of a mental image of uh, what the voice is like. Um, in this case, I think of Alan Alda almost like a cat that has something bitter uh, or sour caught in its whiskers and is trying to lick it off. There's a very uh, inquisitive trying to figure out exactly what the meaning of something is, or uh, trying to use sarcasm to, to you know, probe for the truth in something. So again, this cat is sort of like... <coughs> except uh, in Alan Alda's case, again, we've got the lip going... <coughs> okay, let's go to the ah or differences with the short O sound. So, uh, fortunately, there is a pattern that's pretty easy to follow that I'm hearing with Alan Alda. Um, when a word is spelled with an O, then it simply stays in ah, hot, loss, got. However, there are four exceptions. The first is when the O is spelled with an O-U, bought. The next is when it's followed by an F, off. The next is, uh, for some reason, usually when it's spelled with an S, it's ah, like las, ras, but with the word boss, I hear him say boss. And then there's the O when it's followed by an NG. This is pretty intuitive. Wrong, belong. Then with the rest of the or sounds, we're pretty much home free. If it's spelled with an A, it becomes an OR. Calm. Talk. Um, however, there is one exception that I've heard Alan Alda use, and that's with the word father. For some reason, it's father, not father. So, go figure. Now, uh, another really handy trick is to take the A ah sound and flatten it into an E eh sound. So, Drag, uh, drag becomes drag, bag, bag. Also particular to the Alan Alda sound, and I'm, I doubt this is universal with uh, white Bronx natives, um, that uh, the S becomes an SH. So it wasn't what I thought. It wasn't what I thought. Okay, everybody, it is rhyme time. We're going to uh, use Mr. Alda reciting some verses that hopefully will cement uh, all of these rules. Yesterday, I was caught sleeping on a cot. So a great big bed I bought, but had to drag across a lot. The dragging made me fall. The pavement, it was hot. I tried to make it cool, but my battery was shot. 
please help someone. I coughed, but helping nobody bothered. So into town I crawled in searching for my father. My father was the boss of a store that sold lip gloss. I said, please help me, boss. He said, you know my name is Ross. My mother asked, what's wrong? I said, mom, I'm burned and hot. She said, should I sing a song? I said, that would mean a lot. And that's a hopefully handy way of tracking the ah uh, or differences. Uh, music by Kevin McLeod gives this stuff out royalty free, public domain. Thank you so much, Kevin. So, is this the uh, complete final one stop shop for Alan Alda and the Bronx? No, of course not. Uh, however, let's keep the ball rolling. Uh, if you have any specific insights, ideas into the uh, Mr. Alda voice and the Bronx uh, accent, uh, please put those in the comments. And as your narrator, I hope that my voice and your ears meet again real soon.